Breaking news, breaking news. Cenk Uger of the Young Turks is running for Congress. You heard? Wow, shit is crazy, man. Fucking. Damn, just when you thought it was, it was getting boring in politics. Cenk Uger, Mr. Potato Head of the Young Turks. You've heard of him, the celebrity. There he is, Mr. Cenk Uger is running for Congress to fill the chick's name. I forgot a freaking name already. What's her name? Katie Hill, the chick who posed. She was spreading her legs or something, and she she had a tattoo of an iron cross. What do I know? I don't know fucking. I don't follow these stupid stories. But what I do, what I do know is that she resigned uh, from her seat in California, a Democrat. And Chank Uger is making a run for the seat. Wow, wow. Oh, come on, you know, in complete honesty, everybody, I mean, anybody who does this, what I do or what I attempt to do or what I aspire to do is, you know, in complete honesty, is somewhat of a result of Shank Uger and the Young Turks, though I disagree, you know, insanely, uh, you know, with his take on a lot of things, like Russia Gay, for example, and I also agree with him on a lot of things, like anything Bernie Sanders, I almost agree with him completely. I agree on with him and Money and Fathers. The point is that Cenk Uger is a is a pioneer in the field of online media. And now, and now he's running for Congress. Where's the separation, Cenk? Where is the separation between media and uh, and politics? Uh, media is supposed to hold politics accountable. The media is supposed to hold politicians accountable for their actions and your whole team is media i'm just putting that out there i love the idea man this is gonna be you talk about great fun so let's watch uh we'll watch a little of chank uger in action with uh i pulled up the uh alex jones episode the three <laughs> when alex jones crashed chank uger set in um at the rnc in 2016 fucking classic where jimmy Dore spits in alex jones's face i don't know if the spit scene is in there but we'll, we'll play it anyway so chank uger Founder Chank Uger files to run for Katie Hill's Senate seat. Oh, my God. So, so let's read. Chank Uger, uh, founder of Young Turks, filed Wednesday to run for the House seat vacated by former Representative Katie Hill, Democrat in California, who resigned following a House Ethics Committee investigation into allegations of inappropriate sexual, sexual relationships with staff. <laughs> uh, FCC filing dated Wednesday. Here's the here's the FCC filing. We'll look at it. Uh, with Uger listed as the group's treasurer, Cenk Uger addressed the filing on Twitter, writing to all reporters, "No comment." Oh, you prick! Ah, that's fucked up, man. That's your con- That's Mr. Media. I'm sure he'll have a uh, a lot more to say about it. But that was yesterday, man. You can't leave that shit out there, man. You can't leave people hanging. You filed, man. Dude. Dude. State of organization. Statement of organization. Here it is. Chank for Congress. Chank, chank for Congress. It's official. I already put in a piece of the post office. I don't even know what I'm looking at. I guess this is what? What is this? This is a FEC filing dated Wednesday. Announced the formation of Chank for Congress committee with Uger. Uh, listed as the member's tre- treasurer, blah, blah, blah. All right, so it looks like it's official. All right, he's got an email address there. It looks like he paid his money. He signed the paper. It's all official as of yesterday. Cenk Uga, Democrat, California, District 25, House. So that's what he's running for. Candidate party affiliation, Democrat, Office sought house uh, in California, District 25. So that's what's up for grabs because Hill, this is going to be a special election, I'm I'm assuming, because she dropped out and they're going to fill the seat before 2020. So Chank Uger could be the next congressman. Can he win? (laughs) Of course he can win. Of course he can win. He's got 4 million subscribers. Of course he can win. That's exactly how you win. That's precisely how you win. He's he's got four million subscribers. He's got a, a you know, hundred thousands of people in California that know him, and will just come to District Twenty Five and get him elected. You know, knock on every door and, and get him elected. Right? 
Uh, so hopefully he brings. I mean, I'm, we're already counting like he's got the job already, but uh, it would be very exciting if he could um, bring some, just a little bit of that excitement to Congress. Damn, this is yeah. I, I'm excited. I'm excited. Congratulations, Shank. I think it's a good move, man. Fuck it. You know, everybody's gonna they're gonna they're gonna draw that parallel and say the thing that I just talked about. Say, oh no no, you can't be in politics. You can't be. You can't do politics and media because uh, you're supposed to be holding media accountable. But you, yes, you can because you know what? There are no rules anymore, right? Fuck, fuck this. You know, look at Congress; it's a mess. Look at them; they're trying to impeach the president. You know, and and, and such. Right? It's crazy. Right? So there are no real concrete rules. The left-leaning broadcaster. Let's see how the hill smears him already. He didn't even get in the door. The left-leaning broadcaster aligns himself with progressive wing of the Democratic Party. <laughs> yes, he is the, the, the left wing of the Democratic Party. He is the progressive wing. Uh, he started Justice Democrats. That is the, that's who got the Alessandro Ocasio-Cortez elected, uh, Ilhan Omar, uh, Rashida Tlaib, and uh, Elvis Presley, whatever her name is. I got them all elected, right? For, so in 2016, he endorsed Bernie Sanders in the Democratic presidential primary. He recently endorsed Sanders in 2020. Yes, he did. Right. This is so good. Hill's district will be the site of a special election. I thought so. Following her resignation last month due to the publication of nude pictures of her as well as in an investigation by the House Ethics Committee into allegations of an inappropriate relationship with a House staffer. Inappropriate relationships? Were they over 18? Then it's not inappropriate. Right? It's all the same. Hill had no. Hill, Hill had also uh, admitted to an affair with a campaign staffer. Though that relationship did not break the House rules, she resigned while blaming the photos uh, publication on her in uh, estranged husband Kenny Hesplip. I really didn't follow the. Uh, the I didn't really follow the story, and vowed to f- to fight revenge porn after leaving office. Well, let's see what happens. So. Let's look at the video, man. Do you remember this? Do you remember this? Oh, damn. Let's watch. Out of Young Turks. Uh, obviously, a little bit of commotion here. Eh. As Alex Jones and a guy significantly worse than him uh, entered the stage here. What changes in demographics is that he wins white males in such yeah, overwhelming you, numbers it, it's, that it overcomes every you, other you demographic advantage. You know, so, again, they're at the, na- the Republican National Convention, right? And Alex Jones comes barging in like he owns the place. They got a little a little space there, right, at the Republican uh, National Convention, right? And uh, they're talking Democratic politics inside the building, right? Fucking watch. Yes. Come sit in your lap. Oh, Jesus. How's it going? Hey, Alex Jones, how Good you doing? Good to see you, man. You're looking sexy. All right. Hey, how's the revolution going? You guys starting the revolution? We are indeed, Alex. Uh, the revolution is afoot. Um, what a fucking dickbag, first of all, uh, Alex Jones. And uh, Cenk Hugo just played nice, right? He played nice for a while. Welcome to the Young Turks. The young with Rome America is not. <laughs> uh, I am going to restore America. Cenk Hugo is the gentleman so far. American democracy along with progressives and conservatives in this country. All right, well, I got to tell you, I am really, really proud to be here with you. It's good to meet you in person. I don't think How are you guys doing? Uh, we're doing okay. You like all our Hillary for prison shirts everywhere? No, uh, I kind of despise it. <laughs> what, what shirts are they? I haven't seen any of them. You haven't seen, oh my God, you didn't see me? I don't exist if you didn't see me. This is this is how not to be a guest on someone's show. This is how you, get, you should get a punch in the face for this. Alex Jones. Jimmy Dore spits in his face at one point. It's pretty cool. I'm not. Uh, all right, guys. Okay. Uh, here, Look at this. I got this shirt for you right here. It's rape. It's Bill Clinton that says rape. Oh, God, hide that immediately. That's the big no. no, no. The Roger Stone's band. All right, one. you want to take show my show over? I'll take your show sure, over. Go ahead. Okay, you know what? who does this kind of shirt? First of all, a sick guy. Second of Bill all, Clinton's you not know, a rapist, you, folks. No, you, you, you know who, you know who's accused in Get court yourself, papers. Come on. You know who was accused in court ra- papers of being a rapist? Donald J. Trump. Donald Trump. By Donald Trump, Trump Roger Stone. Yeah. You know that. It's in court papers. Oh yeah. And you're a sick dude, Roger Stone. Oh, I want to rant off with you right now. Give us a 
Oh, yo, I should give you, should give you a hatchet it. job. A job Bull here. Bull you're Bull you're a on. sick man, Roger no, Stone. You're Roger, no, you're the world's well, biggest liar. Didn't you admit that you lied about Elliot Smith, sir? Didn't you already admit that you piece of crap? You're not afraid of him, are you? You're not afraid of him. Take a minute. First of all, Alex, this ain't your fucking show. I don't know. And Roger, it certainly ain't your fucking show. Are you afraid to debate him? Afraid? Are you kidding me? No, no, no. <laughs> that shit is dope, man. man. Roger Stone is there. Watch. There's more. There's more. There's more. Watch. 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 All right. Roger. Yeah, run away. Roger, don't go. He wants to debate you right now. I'm not going to debate this guy. You're a hatchet, man. I don't know why anyone in the media takes you seriously. All you do is lie. You're known as the biggest liar in media. You're the biggest liar in media. And you wonder why guys like Roger Stone get locked up because they're fucking, they can't control themselves. Right? They're assholes. Guys, can you get up my skin Don't get too mad. We got to have a... All right, well, first of all, this. He's actually mad. You're actually really upset. I, I think you should have come to bed. Yeah, that's true. All right, all right, all right, all right. Once you get out of here, Alex. All right. We got to continue the show. Hey, man. Nobody watches you. We know nobody watches you. You need the ratings. Saudi Arabians aren't funny enough. You're a little jihad. Hey, first of all, let me explain something, all right? Okay, this is bullshit. Hold on, hold on. We're against Saudi Arabia, you dumbass. We talk about that all the time. We talk about that all the time. You don't know shit. What do you think? The lizard people are in charge? No. Is that what you think? Hey, your pants are in your ass. Is that what you think? You're the anti-liberal and you're pissed. Bullshit! We're being nicer. Cenk Gilger for Congress. You know what I care about? I care about, I care about the American people. Good. You're the one flipping out. Come on. Anybody hurt anybody? I'm not hurt. Get the fuck off my stage! Get the fuck off my stage! I'm not hurt. You're the one that knows that. Security is the reality. You hear him? Get off my stage. Get off my stage. Uh, so there, there is a spit part in this. There's a spit part where Jimmy Dore spits in his face. So nonetheless, uh, Marcus Conte reporting. Sorry, sorry to uh, digress, but that was, this is good news. This is really big, you know, because you got to put your money where your mouth is. Life is short, right? And Cenk Uger is in a position where he is going to pivot his fame. Fame and his fortune, whether he steps down from the Young Turks or not, doesn't really matter. But is, any, is, he, is Cenk Uger in a unique position to win a Congress seat based on his fame? Absolutely. Put anybody against him in terms of a debate, and Cenk Uger is, you know, masterful debater, a master debater. He's gonna fucking, he's gonna win, right? Cenk Uger is gonna be a congressman in uh, California 25. So, let's see how he how he approaches this. Let's see if he changes his tune. Don't change, Cenk. You want my advice, man? Look, you want to take my advice? Don't fucking change anything, man. Be who you are. Go back to the old Cenk Uger. You know, throwing punches and, and, and speaking your mind. Don't censor yourself. Don't take the money either. Don't don't water yourself down. Be who you are and win and take that fighting that fighting uh, uh, attitude to Congress and, and uh, it should be really good, right? Fight you wanna fight for you know, getting money out of politics, that's your main subject. So now you got the now you got the chance, man. Wow. Mark, fucking Marcus Conti reporting, man. What a time to be in politics, man. Cenk Yuga runs for Congress. Marcus Conti reporting.